Air defense programs are the crucial for the Polish army right now. I'm Jak Mildenczowski from Milmac. This is Nick Delarinaga from MBDA. Welcome at the MSPO. And we are talking about the NAREF, Pilica Plus and Mieszczyk programs. Could you update us on the current uh, development uh, from the MBDA side? Of course. So welcome to the MBDA stand at MSPO 2023. Very pleased to be here. Very pleased to have you here. And we're very proud to be working uh, with the Polish Armed Forces and with our Polish industry partners, PGZ, now on five different air defense programs for the Polish military. Um, the first one of those was uh, contracted last year. It's the program we call uh, Malonarev or Small Narev, um, which we are now in the final stages of delivery. Um, so that was a very rapid program, uh, delivering uh, two batteries of launchers based around our CAM air defense missile, uh, in a fully integrated Polish system, uh, using a Polish C2 Zenit, uh, Polish radars, Polish vehicles, Polish communications, and uh, that's a project that we were very proud of, to be able to deliver that with PGZ in, in record times. When you think about the complexity of creating essentially a brand new air defense system and delivering it uh, as we did with the first equipment delivered to Poland within six months. So a very rapid project and uh, one we're very proud of, and there's one of the launches is here, um, outside in the exhibition area. Okay, let's talk about the effectors uh, mm. right now. Could you brief us when uh, could be expected first uh, CAM extended range uh, missiles uh, to be delivered to Poland? Okay, so uh, uh, on the first day of MSPO this year, uh, it was a, a very uh, proud moment for us to witness the signings of the executive contracts between PGZ and the Polish MOD for the NAREV program. Um, which will include, as the MOD announced, uh, over 1,000 uh, CAM ER missiles and uh, 138 launches um, within that program, with the, the vast majority all being made in Poland by PGZ. Um, they announced as part of that, I think, deliveries beginning around the 2026-27 time frame. Okay, uh, let's talk uh, a little bit about the CAM MR because it's a new project, which might be a joint project between MBDA and uh, Polish PGZ. Mm -hmm. uh, could you, um, well, uh, brief us a little bit uh, what kind of effector it could be mm -hmm. and which kind of system it might fit? Okay, so we're, we're working exactly as you say with uh, PGZ at the moment. Uh, yesterday we signed a, a letter of intent to cooperate with PGZ on uh, uh, the future development of CAM. Uh, into the medium range space, so the CAM-MR missile. Um, this is really a, uh, an extension of what we're doing on the NAREV program with CAM-ER, in the sense that as part of NAREV we are transferring uh, a very large amount of technology into Poland from, uh, from the CAM family of missiles. And uh, our intention with PGZ is to then leverage the skills, expertise and technologies that Poland will have uh, from, that, from the NAREV program to develop the missile in, in the future for future needs of the Polish Armed Forces and uh, other armed forces uh, for uh, a modern, medium-range uh, land and naval air defense system. So there will be medium-range missile, uh, something in between uh, Wisła and Narev program, and also, uh, as far as I learned, it might be used uh, on board of the Miecznik uh, naval vessels. Exactly, exactly. So we're designing it to be compatible with the Mark 41 launcher that will be on Mieznik so and is also in service. Uh, Mark 41. Exactly, yes, exactly. That's one of the key, uh, a key requirement for it. Um, and, uh, and then also you know, land application as well. So that's absolutely what we're designing it for. Uh, Poland has a requirement for a low cost in interceptor to complement uh, the systems they've already bought in Vizsla. And uh, that's uh, one of the requirements we're designing uh, CAM MR towards in partnership with BGZ. Okay, I have a last question concerning uh, cooperation between MBDA and PGZ. Mm -hmm. Which uh, fields of expertise might be uh, well uh, part of the PGZ uh, um, subsidiary companies like MESCO mm -hmm. or Pitradvar? Uh, which parts of the project might be taken by the Polish industry? So as part of the NARIF program, we are uh, transferring obviously a lot of uh, technology and uh, you know, the missiles will be made in Poland, uh, the launchers will be made in Poland by Polish companies within our consortium. Uh, that includes, for example, on the missile, key technologies uh, within the seeker, the rocket motor, warhead, 
and uh, those will be made across Polish companies such as Mesco or Pit Radbar. So basically a whole effect on my manufacturing in Poland. Yes, we'll, we'll get to that point. And we are idea. speaking about the CAM MR or other CAMs as well? Uh, so for Narev, this is uh, the CAM ER. Okay. Um, so there will be a phase technology transfer and phase manufacturing set up in Poland to, uh, to, uh, to make the missiles and launches in Poland. Last question. Uh, what uh, might be a future development of the MBDA uh, and Polish industry cooperation? Which fields might be, well, other uh, projects uh, to be developed? Mm -hmm. So, uh, at the moment, obviously, the main focus has been air defense with the Polish Armed Forces and with PGZ, uh, with, you know, Malanarev, uh, Pilica Plus, Narev, uh, Mieżnik, and uh, now CAMMR for the future. Um, but of course, MBDA is a company that operates in all domains of, of missile technologies. And so we're able to also partner with Poland on, uh, in fact, any missile requirement that the Polish Armed Forces might have, from uh, small battlefield missiles up to uh, the largest of air defense and complex systems. Um, there are a couple of projects we're working uh, closely with uh, PGZ on at the moment. Um, one of them is uh, their tank destroyer program. Um, here at uh, the exhibition, PGZ is showing uh, the first prototype on uh, their new 4x4 vehicle from HSW. Uh, we're very proud to have uh, six brimstones on that, uh, that configuration. Um, but also there are other opportunities beyond, uh, beyond tank destroyer. Um, you know, Poland is modernizing its, all its armed forces. It's buying new aircraft, for example, F-35, um, where we are a missile provider to that platform with three different missiles integrated on the platform. Um, one in particular, I think, could be of interest to Poland, which is the Meteor missile. So that's, being, that's undergoing full integration at the moment onto the uh, F-35A, which is the same version procured by Poland, and is a, a missile that is uh, well known for its uh, a significant uh, technical advantage compared to any other air-to-air -air missile in service at the moment. So that could be uh, an interesting capability for Poland to really enhance the, uh, the performance of the F-35 platform in the Polish Air Force. Thank you very much for this update. You're welcome. Thank you very much for your Thank time. Thank you very much.